Well, I'll just uh, start it at this point here. Um, I have <coughs> 0 0.01017 moles of HCl. Remember, I want my moles of HCl per kilogram of the solvent. But this is per gram of the solution. And then uh, what I found here is that in one gram of the solution, I have 0.6292 grams of water. All right, and I arranged it properly this time so that now I'll have moles per gram of water. Um, and of course, if I uh, divide this by a thousand, I'll get um, kilograms okay so thousand grams to one kilogram uh, I said dividing because that's already on the bottom we divide this number which is the same as multiplying uh, by a thousand all right so this is getting a little crowded here but uh, we do this calculation and what we end up with is uh, point zero one zero one seven divided by the point six two nine two times a thousand and we have sixteen point one six three uh, moles of HCl per kilogram of water, or in other words, molal, all right? And if we keep our uh, three significant figures that we had in the beginning, this will be 16.2 molal, okay? HCl. Okay, and then uh, the other question is just a, a quick little add-on to this. What is the weight percent, all right? We actually very nearly determined it right here uh, because this is grams of HCl per gram of solution that's percent all we need to do to make it percent is multiply that by a hundred right so the the percent here is just going to be um, 37.08 uh, or 0.1 percent okay so that's uh, just a quick example of how we would convert uh, molarity to molality and weight percent. And it's actually quite typical for the density of a solution to be given on its label. So uh, this is a very practical problem, something you might encounter in an industrial lab.